Hello everyone, we are Team Shunya, we are a student technical team of IIT Bombay and our aim is to revolutionize the sustainable housing industry in India. So this is our project Vivan, it is a part of the US Solar Decathlon Challenge that we are participating in. This is organized by the US Department of Energy and National Renewable Energy Laboratory and we are the only team representing India in this competition. So our project Vivan is a net zero carbon, net zero energy and net zero water house and as we go along I will be explaining how. So we have used wrap footing for the house based on the soil testing that we did and the location of the house which is near the lake. So uh, we have dug the site 2 meters deep and the foundation backfilling and the erection of steel superstructure was done. So this led to the house being a seismic zone 3 safe house and uh, we have used a metal deck as the base. Uh, it serves as a shock absorber and it provides uh, space and support for the electrical and HVAC conduits that we have used in the house. So let's uh, discuss the general features of the architectural house. Architectural design of this house is adopted from the tradition Vada. The Vada concept is where the central part of the house is open roof with a room surrounding it on all four sides. Similarly, the uh, central part of this ground floor is kept comparatively open giving the same effect. Coming to the scientific methods, we analyze lighting, ventilation and a special analysis. Uh, there are some of the highlighting elements which we have used are the Jali to uh, give some essence of the privacy and uh, um, the sun saving to some extent. Uh, the windows are all provided with the sills and the bedroom windows are all covered with the slits to provide the privacy and uh, the sun saving to uh, prevent the overexposure of the sun. So the height of the living room is also doubled to reduce the temperature and with the presence of the uh, windows at height, the use of the artificial lighting has also been deemed abstract. We have designed an open uh, kitchen uh, so that the, every family member can participate in the cooking activities. Also uh, to match with the electrical load at night, we are using the lead acid uh, batteries to which we have stored here. Most of the materials that we have used here are green and have minimum carbon footprint. We have used eco boards which are compressed particle boards made of sugar cane and agro waste. They are moisture resistant and to our fire rate. Now using this instead of burnt clay bricks which is drastically reduces our carbon footprint. Now since this walls are hollow assembly we have opted for mineral insulation which is eco touch given by Wens Corning. Now this insulation increases our ability to controlling the ambient temperature according to the occupant comfort instead of you know irrespective of the external temperature. Now, in an attempt to eliminate the use of burnt clay bricks and cement mortar in the construction industry, Upcycle Chakra have sponsored us the silica plastic blocks. Now, for example, the silica plastic tiles are used in the landscaping and in the car parking area instead of concrete flooring. Also, it is used in non-structural walls outside the building. The energy efficient HVAC in the house is designed along with the thermal storage of chilled water, which ensures the cooling and comfort conditions even during the blackout and non-solar hours. The chilled water is supplied into the fan coil units that will help to maintain the temperature of the room. For the humidity control, we have the liquid desiccant based unit placed just outside the house. With the duct extending into the house, the exhaust fan absorbs the moist air from the room, processes it and returns it back from the return line, maintaining the optimal uh, humidity levels in the room. The plumbing in the house is designed to achieve the net zero in water by using water efficient fixtures, rainwater harvesting and green water recycling along with the best optimization of minimal hot water uh, loss. Uh, Mumbai is a coastal city, it receives enough of rainfall that if the water is stored, utilized uh, efficiently, we can surely achieve a net zero. Project Vivan is also forefront in tackling the carbon content that is being emitted by construction industry because construction industry is one of the industries that produces most carbon that is being emitted in our environment. So we are using minimal for our safety features and for our coating that we have previously talked about. So we are using less carbon content as we can use and also we are net energy positive so that is that way around 73% of the carbon is offset by the solar panels we are using. And the remaining 27% 20, is being offset or being reduced by around like green walls that we are using, the facade we are using and also the landscaping we are doing outside the house. Being a part of one of the premier institutes of technology in India, we have tried to use technology to its fullest. 
Uh, Vivan is fully automated using technology developed by our own team. Uh, the fan cooling unit, the lights, the vents, all of these can be controlled with the tip of your finger. A uh, little bit about our previous projects. Uh, we participated in the Solar Decathlon Build Challenge uh, France in 2014, where we won the honorable mention in sustainability with our project Tesla. In 2018, we have participated in Solar Decathlon China with our project Solarize, where we won the best participation yeah. award. And in 2021, during the pandemic, we participated in the US Solar Decathlon Design Challenge, where we had to design our attached housing division for 10 houses with our project Dutch, and we were the runners up for the same. For 2023, we have participated in the Solar Decathlon uh, Build Challenge 2023 and we are one of the uh, th 16 teams out of 32 which were given the approval to proceed and we also have won a prize funding of $50,000 from the US Department of Energy. So I hope you enjoyed the tour and I hope it is informative. Yeah. Once you explore the house, let me know. Mm -hmm. There are other interactions too. We faced immense challenges throughout the project but, and the, but the biggest of all was the procurement of land for construction. We faced a lot of issues and delays uh, for the procurement of land because of all these procedures and uh, documentation process. We even changed, the, changed our location from Navi Mumbai to within the campus and because of which we have to repeat all the process again. Uh, due to this our timeline for the construction got delayed a bit and uh, the team members were unsure that whether we will be able to build the house in time in the competition timeline or not but we we uh, keep each other motivating and we help each other in the design and even even in the construction process so that we can speed up the uh, speed up the construction and each and individual activity of the construction and finally in this short duration we were able to uh, finish the house in time we can like we are very proud that we were able to finish this uh, house in this short duration and of course there were other hurdles and challenges which we faced which were the, which can be also the highlight of the build challenge but this is one which is the major highlight of our build challenge and it was a roller coaster ride for us but we came through it and we completed the house for uh, for exhibition for this solar decathlon yes the most impactful feature of our house are the echo wood panels that we have used in the house these are composite made up of agar and sugarcane waste and these are replaced with the cement and brick walls and which helps us reducing the carbon emissions in the house to a great extent and uh, they are also moisture resistant and fire related and we are also having more uh, another innovative solutions and one of them is liquid dehumidification which was developed by our own team and which this reduces the humidity to 35 to 50 percent within a shorter span of time than the market available solutions right now and another such feature is the home automation system which is a open source, which has open source tools and uh, also allows us to control all the electrical appliances. Yes. For all the students and institutions considering to take part in the Solar Decathlon Build Challenge, we highly recommend you to do so. This is definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity as it provides you with immense hands-on experience which is very important for you at this age. This Build Challenge helps you develop as a person and also helps you understand how to tackle your problems and also improves your time management.